Aloha, my name is Shakti, and I'm thrilled to be with you and share this fun tapping process with you. It's called Transform Your Judge Into Your Genie. I invite you to come to my newly launched website, findthestarwithin.com. Everyone has a voice inside that criticizes, compares, and judges. My inner judge, or inner mean girl, can be so ruthless. What about yours? I invite you to identify some of the worst complaints, the name calling, or the writing on the walls, on your walls, that you hear inside your head. And together we're going to tap on them, release their charge, and even thank them. But don't worry, we won't stay stuck. We want to transform our inner judge into our ally and into a genie. So join me. First, jot down some of the worst complaints, the labels you hear, the name calling. And notice, what does it feel like in your body when you say those things, when you hear those words inside your head? Do you feel small or squelched, confined, restricted, or maybe even imprisoned? Is there a tightness or contractedness in your body? Do you store it in your stomach or your throat? Where do you feel it in your body? What does your judge look like? Is there a particular outfit or color that your judge is wearing? Let's tap on some of these things that we're hearing and seeing. Even though I feel really small and contracted when my judge is activated, I acknowledge that this is only a small part of me. Even though I have this mean judge who is ruthless, puts me down, compares me, criticizes me, beats me up, I'm open to understanding and seeing what the judge is needing. Even though my judge is dominating the show, I'm accepting whatever is coming up about it right now. And tapping through the points, my judge is controlling the show. The voice makes me feel small. I've been thinking all these negative thoughts. I've been believing my judge. These are some of the things, the negative things my judge has been saying. You're not good enough. You're selfish. You haven't done enough. Can't do that. You don't deserve that. You're a failure. You're not smart enough. You didn't earn enough money. I don't want, want to mess up. It's safer not to speak up. It's better not to st stick out. Just be quiet. My judge can go on and on and on. There must be a reason for my judge's harshness. Maybe it wants to protect me and keep me safe. My judge doesn't want me to get hurt. So take a pause and a deep breath and allow that into your body and notice how you're feeling. And if you need to pause this and tap some more in clearing and cleaning those negative thoughts, feel free to do that. And for the next part, what we're gonna do is you can hold your collarbone points or you can tap along on your collarbone points. And I'm going to lead you in a visual, visualization. Feel free to keep your eyes open or closed. So I invite the judge inside you to come out with you to a magical tapping tea party. And let's have a conversation with this inner judge. So now you're sitting at a tea table in a garden. And sitting across from you is your inner judge. What would you like to tell the judge? 
What would you like to hear from your inner judge? Maybe your judge has a special message for you, so listen up. And imagine now that your judge is telling you that he or she wants to be, wants you to be really safe and not to get hurt. And this has been his purpose all this, all these years. Let your judge know that they did a really good job at keeping you small and safe and protecting you. It's time to thank your judge for showing up and doing such a great job. Thank you, Judge, for all your hard work. I appreciate your presence and keeping me safe for all these years. Thank you for your service and your protection. And you can continue to alert me when I'm in a real danger. But in the meantime, let's have some fun. I'm really needing more play, confidence, creativity, and joy, especially when I'm in intimidating situations. So tell your judge you're ready to expand and transform and you'd like him to join you. It's black clothes are boring and dreary and you'd like to bring him into your special costume closet. Tell your judge that you'd like him to stay on as your ally and help you in all your endeavors. I'd like you to come into my magical costume closet where we're going to play dress up. Pull out the most fun, colorful clothes you can. <gasps> Mine is dressed in a genie's outfit. Yours can too. <gasps> Look at those colorful, bright pants and that flashy top. Notice the genie's costume and invite him to try it on. And notice there's a beautiful bottle that your transformed judge, now a genie, can go into for inspiration, clarity, and creativity. So take a pause and imagine that you're now inside this genie's bottle. And here, your genie is showing you that you have a brilliant, unique, and very special star within you. The genie shows you very delicately where it is inside you and how you can access it. Here in this enchanting and magical bottle, you are able to reveal to your genie your passions, your dreams, and your desires. They may have been secret up until now, and they may unfold in the future as you revisit this space. So now we're going to tap through the points while we're in this space to thank the genie for showing up, for showing us the star within, for showing up, and for listening to all of our dreams, visions, and desires. So now tapping through the points. I so much appreciate your presence, your play, and your magic. You're so beautiful. Thank you for being my ally and for helping me turn my dreams into reality. I'm happy to have you and call upon you when I need you. When I'm in a stuck place, I'm going to call out your name, Jeannie. I'm going to let you out of the bottle so you can speak through me. Thank you for revealing my special gifts, my unique qualities, and my star within. Right now, I'm asking for you to give me three little things I can do to move towards my dreams. Three little baby steps I can take to propel me forward. Maybe it's tapping when those negative thoughts or doubts come back. Perhaps it's writing or making a phone call or maybe it's just being quiet or taking a pause during the day. Whatever you have for me, I'm receiving it now and I know I can come back to this special place anytime 
and reconnect with you because you're always here. Thank you so much for your presence. And take another pause and a deep breath and really allow that into your body. You may want to write down what the genie told you, especially the three steps that you can take. And know that you can revisit this space anytime and do this process over and over. Thank you for joining me and happy tapping.